Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered, where today we're going to be exploring Ash Lake. Admittedly, there's not too much to explore, but we still got to do it. So, let's get going in this direction. Considering this is the direction in which things are. I mean, maybe there's stuff in that direction, but I already grabbed something there, and I don't believe we can go much farther than the thing I had grabbed. So, incidentally, this is the second of the two areas in the game where there are clam enemies. Admittedly, this could be the first area, considering you can get to it significantly earlier than you can get to the Crystal Cave, but... Meh? I'm calling it the second because it's the second one I've visited in this series, and you're just gonna have to live with that, I guess. So there. So yeah, we got clams. And since we know they can give Twinkling Titanite, and since we're not going to be stepping in too much water. Yeah. Plonk. Oh, you jerk. Fine. Yay! More Twinkling Titanite is good. Also, there's a giant skull right there. I don't know what it belongs to, but it's big. I mean, look at it. It's big, it's got horns. Probably belongs to some sort of demon. Look at them fangs. I mean, we don't really care about giant beach skulls. Not when they don't got nothing in them. That one don't got nothing in it. So if memory serves, this tree right here has got at least one basilisk in it. So that's a thing. Also, we gotta get this item, but be careful, because walking any further and we'll end up in the water. And hello, free Estus Flask for some reason. I still have no idea what causes you to gain Estus Flasks, but I won't complain about it happening. Because I rather like getting free Estus Flasks. Certainly better than having an Estus Flask taken away for no reason. Though that's not a thing that happens. So the reason I'm not going in there is I believe there's actually a path over here that'll get us in higher. Which will let us grab a few more things, and then we exit through there. Just being more efficient to not go in through there. Also, hello, Basilisk. Goodbye, Basilisk. Uh, really goodbye, Basilisk. Alright, so in here we've got Basilisks but also an item over there. Looks like there is indeed a path to get back up to that route, so we don't gotta care too much. Ow. Can you please not be punching? And a poke. Oh, not a poke. And a poke. Nope, also not a poke. Ow! I don't like these mushrooms. They punch hard. And I don't know that there's any other game series in the world in which you can say that sentence. Ow. Ow! Through the shield. Okay. Let's get back in there. And this time not get punched. At least not that many times. Not through the shield. Not lethally. Really, as long as I don't die, it's all fine. Just need to not die. 
That's it. Darn little root. So we are going to go through the clams again, but that's just fine. We don't care too much about clams as long as things go well. I probably could just run past them. Oh, you jerk. Because I don't think they can actually aggro far enough to get to us when we're in the basilisk tree. But then again, we can get nice things from them, like purging stones and twinkling titanite. And in fact, if the basilisks decide to be jerks, that purging stone will be very good to have. Yeah, no biting me, buddy. There we go. Ooh, a purging stone and a twinkling titanite. That was a very nice clam. So, with the one item being on top of the mushrooms, that tells me that either there's a place to get in from even higher, or else there's some jumping to be done and I just wasn't paying enough attention. I suppose we'll have to find out which of those is the truth. Though it looks like maybe we could get in even higher if we climbed up that route, but it looks like it's too far in the water to actually walk to. Maybe from the other side we'll be able to see more clearly whether or not that's the case. But from here... Whoa, camera, don't you just go turning at random like that. That's dangerous. I mean, I know it's not at random, it's because it's like bumping into geometry, but the fact that it's just deciding, hey, you know what, I'm going to rotate 90 degrees all of a sudden. That's not good for staying alive on thin platforms. Hello, Mr. Basilisk. Please come up here so that I can play with you with my sword. Thanks. You too, please. And now we'll drop down. Give this guy a little poke. And maybe give him another little poke. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Shouldn't have mashed the circle button there. Could have resulted in badness. Poke! Oh, couldn't dodge in time. Um, sir, could you please refrain from punching me for a little bit? I was a little thirsty. You don't punch a thirsty man. Ow! You don't punch a man that hard either. Oh, no. And a poke. Yeah. Okay. How about a poke with this? Okay, how about actually a poke with that? There we go. Okay. Mushroom Man is down. So is there a path that takes me there? Looks like... I don't know that I can get the height required to jump on these mushrooms and then drop down. And I don't know that I can jump far enough to get on that one, especially not with such a short run-up. Yeah, I don't know that this is the solution to getting that item. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be it. So maybe jumping the other way or else coming in from higher up. So if we go like so, nope, that seemed to not work because of this little lip. So how about from here? No. Yeah, I don't think any of these is the correct solution. Pretty sure we need to come from higher up. 
But hey, we've cleared this place out, so at least we won't have anything to deal with after dropping. So yeah, I'm guessing there probably is a way to walk to that route. Carefully. And there's a clam here. We know what to do with clams. There we go. Got any loot for me? No. And you're in a difficult to escape little burrow. Actually, from here, it doesn't look like that route would be walkable. And I'm pretty sure the water would claim me if I even attempted to walk out to it. So then how do we get the item? Huh? I want the item, but I do, know, do not know how to... Camera. No 90 degree turns when I'm on thin platforms, please. So yeah, what is the dealio? How to get item when item is high up? Maybe, nope, nothing to smack there. Nothing to smack there. I want it. I want it. Something fierce. Uh, maybe like... Oh, that seems to be straight up invisible wall territory. Yeah, we can't jump to those mushrooms at all. So it has to be this mushroom if it's any mushroom that we jump to. Yeah, it looks like maybe with the right angle and timing we could jump to it. Kind of weird when you just suddenly plummet like that. Eh, it's probably a dragon scale at best. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore it for now. Though I do believe there is something to be had if I follow the base of this tree around. Like, rather than getting onto this route. Okay, I guess we can't walk over that tiny little route. So we got to go around it, but I think maybe? Nah, there doesn't look to be any item to grab. And I don't trust the water when it's so dark. Like, here we can see the bottom. And over here we can see the bottom very clearly. And then when there's no bottom, we can see that too. But over here, we just have to rely on blind faith, and I don't have that right now. Though I do feel like if we're gonna get in from higher up, this route's the way to do it, but it seems to be too far out to the water for me to trust it. Plus, it also seems really steep on this side. I don't think we would be able to walk onto that. So I just don't know how to get that item. And so on and on we go. It's quite the walk, but it will take us to a bonfire. And also to a thing that could be a friend or a foe, defending, de defending? depending on how you treat it. Though we're going to treat it as a friend. There's no reason for us to anger it. And here we can see this is a very thin place with very steep drop-offs on either side. But hey, there's a bonfire. It's already lit. We just got to sit at it. And look at that. It's a dragon. Yeah, weakness is tail, but we're not going to be dealing with no fighting it. And I just did that to get access to that trophy. Didn't want to actually enter the covenant. Because if we change our covenant right now, then the humanity that we've given to the Daughter of Chaos will be cut in half. And 
I do not want that until after we've made use of it. And so, now we leave. But where to? That's the question. Um, I dare say that we ought to go somewhere. I think the demon ruins are probably our next stop. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that be the case. In which case, we're going to the Daughter of Chaos, and we are going to give her a bunch of humanity. We need to give her another 25. And that means we're going to use a bunch of these. So let's go ahead and use all five twin humanities. Get 10 right there. And then we'll use 15 of these. Almost all we've got. And then we'll give them all to her. Because that'll give us access to a shortcut later on. So, here you go. Have a bunch. Yeah, we can't understand what she says unless we get a specific ring that you can actually choose to start with, and we didn't. Okay. Modify click. Oh. I mean, I guess we could do that. But I don't really care to right now. And we don't care about the servant roster either. Okay, bye. So, I suppose it's time for us to go deal with Ceaseless Discharge. In which case, we might want to invest in some fire defense. Do we have... Oh yeah, we've got plenty of better fire defense available. 17's not bad. I mean, Havel's at 22, but that's Havel. 19 for Black Iron. I think the... The best, like, fire defense, physical defense weight ratio we have is probably this channeler helm. So let's see what else we got. Can we get... Alright, our chest is the thing that we upgraded a lot. And yet, the channeler... Well, the channeler chest is heavy. Uh, how are we doing on weight? That would put us above half. Okay, how about gauntlets? Do we have better gauntlets that don't put us above half? We're looking for fire defense and physical defenses. We want a nice mix. Black iron's pretty nice, but it puts us above half. Crystalline is not good fire defense. So I think we're probably sticking with the gloves we got right now by the looks of it. Or the Silver Knight Gauntlets. Okay. And we can afford a little more weight, so maybe if we get a good waste here, we can add some weight and also some defenses where we want them. Waste cloth of the channelers is just barely too heavy for us, though. And of course, Havel's leggings are way too heavy because Havel's everything is way too heavy. Xanthus would be nice if not for the lower fire defense. So yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be getting a different waste here. Unless, no, Black Iron's way too heavy. Okay, so we're going to be looking like this. I could wear Havel's ring and give us more weight, but... Flamestone plate seems fine. I'm going to go ahead and sit at the bonfire just to make sure that we've got this set as our spawn point. All right. Wow, we look kind of silly with just the channeler hat. 
It is a very bulky hat. All righty. So... Ceaseless Discharge was doing the whole one-shotting us thing, which I did not find pleasant. And yet, it wasn't one-shotting us all the time. And now we've got at least somewhat better defenses and a much better weapon for uh, just doing damage in, in one go. So maybe we'll have a better time of it. I hope so. There are ways that you can get it to kill itself, but that isn't something I really feel like doing unless we have another entire episode of me just failing at it. Though at this point it wouldn't be an entire episode, it'd just be like 10 minutes or so. But either way, I, uh, I'm not gonna go for the have him kill himself thing if I can avoid it. I would much rather be the one to do the killing of the boss. Hey, buddy. Ow. Hey, it wasn't a one-shot. So, you want to come say hello? Wow, you can block that. Please come say hello. Thank you. I would like to fight you over here, not over there. Let's have a drink while he walks. Dodging out of the way is, of course, better than blocking it. There we go. Got a couple jumps in. Oop. Took some damage, but we're fine. Don't know why I went for a second jump. That served no real purpose. Okay, couldn't dodge out of the way, but again, we may have taken damage, but we're just fine. Though I am going to have a drink. Ow. Ooh. He almost got us with the double slappy. Okay, I meant to do a jump attack, which would have actually done damage there. Uh-oh. Ow. Hey, we're alive. Okay, no hit there. Need more Drinky poo. Ow. Ooh. Okay, how did that hit me? I was nowhere near it. I guess the little tendril poking out the side there got me. Okay, now this weapon will be enough to bring him down. We just need to poke him with it. So, poke. That was significantly easier. Turns out having way more health and better defenses really helps you bring down a boss. And thus the discharge ceases. And as you can see, there is now much more walkable area down there. So let's go walk it. Ooh, let's also spend these souls. Because we can get one level with this. I could Homeward Bone back, and that would be way faster. But I don't really have that many bones right now. I feel like I should save some. Can I not walk back? Okay, I can. Why is it that we can just step up that, and yet there are many other things that do not look like we shouldn't be able to, that we just simply are stymied by? 
Like, in the Great Hollow, there's a few roots and other tiny lips that just don't seem like they should stop our progress, and yet they completely halt us. It's really, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm, I'm spacing. The thing that means that they, they, it doesn't... Inconsistent, that's the word. Inconsistent. I feel dumb now. Oh, grats on doing it. I mean, they're saying they did it because you can walk out here while the lava's still up, but why? Why would you? So yeah, we can just wander around. We can go over to the right, which is where we're meant to go, but first we're going to go left a little ways. Even though there are definitely some things that we are going to have to come back for later. Like anything that requires us to actually cross the lava, we'll have to come back after getting the ring that lets us walk on lava without getting super turbo dead. Also, hey, remember when these guys were bosses? Or rather, were a boss? Ow. Still hits like a boss. Okay, no idea how I really took damage there, but whatever. Probably should have sat at a bonfire at some point. Yeah, that's right. I was going to level up, but then I got distracted by coming down here. And actually, I should just go towards where I'm supposed to go. That's what's more likely to actually get me to a bonfire. And hey, look, it's a Capra demon. Poke. Remember when he was a boss? Of course, the hard part of that fight was always the fact that he had dog friends and it was in a tiny area. The Capra Demon itself was never the hard part. So yeah, let's just get into the Demon Ruins, because we are going to have to go back up there once we get a ring later on anyway. Might as well just do the more efficient thing, especially since my Estus count is a little bit low right now. Hello, Capra Demons. Do you want to come say hello? Lots of Capra Demons. Nice try. Sorry, buddy. So, I'm a little paranoid about the ceiling here. Because I know something that's going to be happening a little later in these ruins. I don't believe I have to be paranoid of the ceiling right here, but... I mean, still, I believe it's actually down here where the nastiness occurs. Oh, also there's these little splody dudes. Oh, right. They don't explode. They do fire breath. Maybe they also explode. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been to the demon runes and it's a place that I never really remembered that well. Oh, it's not necessarily just ceilings. It's these giant wormy dudes. They're what I remember here. Also, sometimes these statues aren't just statues, but this one is one. Ow! That's right. I'm pretty sure I used to always kill these guys with, like, ranged attacks. Did I? Yeah, I did do some damage to it. It looks like it's almost dead, actually. Yep. And hey, look, it's a bonfire. I like those. Especially when I just ran out of Estus. That's the best time to get a bonfire. That is 
a crazy looking what oh is that the centipede demon that is the centipede demon neat let's go ahead and light this and then sit down thankfully the worms don't come back Um, I mean, I guess there's fire down there. It's more like lava, but... Yeah, sure. I wonder what would happen if I tried shooting the centipede demon from here. Probably nothing good. Especially considering the centipede demon is the trigger for... Solaire's next... bit of story, and we need to make sure... that we use our Chaos Servant... shortcut... before we get the centipede demon killed. Because otherwise we get Solaire killed and we can't have that. Solaire has to have a long, happy life filled with sunshine. I see no reason to change out of our fire res gear while we're here, by the way. Because there's lots and lots of fire. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Shame I can't one-shot these guys. It is nice being able to one-shot the Capra Demons, though. Okay. Oh, hello. How are you? Looks like we don't have any... Well, I guess this is another path that we could take. Nice miss, buddy. Because I recall the... that the... the shortcut that we can unlock is near the Demon Fire Sage which is, I'm pretty sure, what's right behind that fog door. So I'm just going to be exploring down these alternate paths before I go in the fog door. It's going to hurt, or it's going to miss. That's fine by me. I don't mind not being hurt. Whoa there. That body almost shoved me down. It'd be a shame to be killed by something's dying body. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. His his little sneak attack managed. Oh, wow. You, you just keep munching, don't you? Okay. Well, now we know. That's a lot of souls. I forgot to level up when I sat down at the bonfire. But it's fine, we didn't really fight through anything too dangerous to get there. Most dangerous thing we fought was the corpse of a Taurus demon. Which gave me a little spook, but otherwise... wasn't so bad. Nice being able to just kill these jerks with jump attacks. Considering that they are, in fact, the quickest to execute attacks we have. At least they feel like the quickest to execute. Maybe this does damage faster. Yeah, it's about the same. Though it doesn't do as much damage as the jump attacks do. So I'll go for higher damage. Even if it's got a significantly longer uh, recovery. Ooh, thank goodness that missed, because we were a sitting duck for having missed ourselves. And there should be one more Taurus demon in our way. Yes. Mr. Taurus demon. Please come play. I would like to get you out of my way. Yes, that's right. That's right. 
No, this is how you jump attack. Thanks for missing. I'm gonna just make sure we shove ourselves against that wall so that we don't get knocked off. And then we'll grab that and not get grabbed by that. Try your thing. Try it, I dare you. Oh, my reach isn't quite long enough. Try it again. Try it again. Please try it again. I don't trust you. I feel like the moment I try something, you're going to try your thing and it's going to supersede mine. Nope. Okay, as long as he's just doing that instead of grabbing us, that's fine. Do something. Okay, that was meant to be a jump attack, and a jump attack would have actually hit him. Okay, that time a jump attack wouldn't have actually hit him. I don't like when you're in the ceiling. So you know what I'm going to do? Just a little of this. Looks like it's not going to take too many anyway. One or two more. There we go. Yeah. That's much better. Though I feel like there's still going to be another one. So we'll just move carefully. Oh. Oh, um, okay. Um, what? Well, that's one down. Dang it. Again, it was meant to be a jump attack. There, that's two down. Now we have an escape route. Do a thing, I dare you. I double dare you. Don't barf at me. Okay, um, don't do that either. In fact, don't do anything at me. Just, well, that, that runs counter to the thing I've been asking. Uh, try something? Please? Okay. What even is that? Dang it. Again, that was supposed to be a jump. It, can we just not jump when we don't have the full stamina required? Is that it? Okay, how about you? You're all alone. And now you're all dead. And what's this? Ooh, that chain is hiding. I don't feel like this is a mimic. But you can never be too sure. What are these noises I'm hearing? I'm going to trust it. Okay. Trusting it did not go too poorly. So this seems pretty dead-endy. But hey, we got a flame ember. That's something. Shame we don't really care about fire weaponry. No, we just care about this thing we got over our right shoulder right now. It's nice. I like it. Is that just the sound of my character breathing? Could be. Alrighty. Now for you. Are you going to try and grab me? Or are you just going to headbutt me? 
Oh, or vomit at me. I'm glad I didn't jump any sooner than I did because I would have been in for a bad time. Oh, thank goodness we got him before he got us there. That would have been bad, probably lethal. And now he's gone and out of the way and gone. Did I mention gone? Got them both, or nope, just got one. Now I got them both, because they, for whatever reason, do not see any wisdom in, say, turning. You all by yourself over here, buddy? Sorry. Okay, so he was just guarding a single soul. That's fine, I guess. Anyone over here? Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. And so we go closer still to the fog door. Doesn't look like there's anything to the left here. How about over to the right of the fog door? Nope, doesn't look like anything here either. So I guess we go deeper in and then to the right here. Here it looks like there's stuff. And there's an item there. Looks like we might have to jump from here if we want to get our hands on it though. Jump successful. And we've got a soul better than nothing. Why am I not a... Okay. Thanks, game. Anything further down? I'm not seeing anything. And there's no way to just walk on over to the other side, so... Just wasted some time coming over here. But that's fine. We can just go right on back. Because there's nothing to stop us. So the question is, can we get back up higher or do we have to jump down? It looks like we have to jump down. That looks like it might be a lethal distance. Maybe we can jump in such a way that we at least temporarily land on the route and thereby save us some damage. Yeah, it looks like we can go from here to the route just fine. So, let's roll to it. There we go. So, is there anything this way? Doesn't look like there would be. But I still must investigate. Okay, I can't walk over that. Can't walk through these. So, seems that is very much a dead end because I can't walk under this. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So we go the direction that we can. Ah, yes, this is definitely where we wanted to be. Because it's these little jerks that need to die in order to save Solaire. Thankfully, they are easily killed. Of course, there's more jerks on the other side of this uh, door to our left there. But we're gonna, just going to kill all of them, just to be sure. And because we are rank two with the daughter, or with the, the chaos, whatever, we're able to open that. And in here, there is one that's got red eyes, and that's the one that really needs to die. The others don't actually have to die, but we're going to kill them anyway. Is it you? Oh, hello, lizard. Give me the lizard. No! Yeah, whatever.
this is the one. So now that we've got the sunlight maggot, poor Solaire will not be able to find his own son, but in fairness, he never would have anyway. So yeah, now we're already in Lost Isolith, and this is the part that I actually remember from the Demon Runes, is all those parts down there with, like, the back ends of zombie dragons. But let's go ahead and see if we can work our way through this prowling demon. He's facing the wrong way, we know that much. Yeah, take that, root. Okay, right in the tail. Oh boy, you got some health and some damage output. Okay. I was not expecting to take that much damage in one swing. Ouch. Well, I suppose that's enough for this episode. Join us next time when we get those souls back and then go through the demon fire sage. See you then, friends.